and she in her dysfunction still functioned she still walked even though she was bent she could have sat at home and said I'm a woman I'm disgusted people are repulsive people are repelled people are people don't look at me normal when I walk people leave nobody loves me nobody likes me and that ruler in that synagogue he doesn't even care about me because when I got healed he was mad I mean you know that's a bad pastor <laughs> he's mad when you're healed <laughs> imagine coming to a synagogue where you are not loved where you are not appreciated I mean we have people who get their feelings hurt because a pastor doesn't shake their hand and somebody takes their spot they did not notice me and it's already fifth week in a row and many times and that becomes a reason to say I'm not coming to that synagogue again this woman came in every single Saturday ugly she was not beautiful she was bent a crooked woman but she was there you must understand one thing is that no matter what challenges you are facing that you cannot overcome you cannot allow your challenges to change your relationship with God because your challenges will change your relationship with God will change your challenges when you continue in your commitment to God that will eventually bring to a place where those challenges will find a solution in your life I'm not sure this woman talked to the devil but I know that her actions did when she woke up in the morning on Saturday and did not feel like going to church and she looked in the mirror and she saw herself being so unattractive saw herself being so well not so well pleasing and with her actions this is what she said to the devil she said devil you like my back and you don't want to leave it I don't have enough power to get you out but I'm gonna drag you to church you torment my life wait until you meet Messiah and I am gonna drag you she was an evangelist but she wasn't bringing souls she was bringing demons to church the demons that cling to her back and she said you know what because see the demons once they come on you they want you to stay at home they want to torment you at home but you have to give them some of their own medicine and you gotta say to that demon even if you don't say verbally say it with your action when you don't feel like drag that demon to church dip it in worship dip it in prayer dip it into the word of God and that's exactly what she did she dragged that demon to church every Saturday and I think after 18 years most of us look at oh how did she endure 18 years my question is how did that devil endure 18 years how did that demon put up with the scriptures every single Saturday how did he put up with that woman who was so persistent and the devil's worst day came on a Saturday when on the some regular Saturday he was dragged once again to church and oh no he did not want to be there he kept telling her nobody likes you here look at the person he's looking at you funny he's looking at you funny he's taking pictures of you look at you they don't even care about you and the devil kept talking and the woman kept doing her thing she kept doing her thing until the Messiah came and when the Messiah met the devil the devil was sorry I gotta tell you something when you have a problem in your life don't let your problem hold you back drag your problem crawl if you need to by bring it to church bring it to a prayer line bring it to worship bring it to the Word of God when many times when people commit sin or when people fall into something that has happened habitually they feel completely unworthy to go back into the Word of God they feel like I can't pray I can't go to prayer again. I can't fast. What's what's the point? I blew it. That's the devil lying to you. Do what this woman did. This woman could have said, I can't do this. Drag the devil to the Bible and let him die. And let him suffer. Let him be tormented in the presence of God's fire.
if you don't he will torment you when you stay close yourself at home and say I feel down I'm discouraged I'm depressed life is hard oh nobody loves me and understands me I'm just gonna sit here and watch sitcom that's when the demons did not only take your back they also took your feet they took your mouth they took your ears they took your eyes and they took everything from you don't give them more than they what they took drag them to church